Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm traveling around Spain in my camper van with my two dogs, Mia and Lola. Um, in this video, I went to the dog's favorite camp spot because I went to a lagoon. Um, the lagoon's called Mar Menor. It's salt water, it's really shallow, it's the best place if you want to do windsurfing, kite surfing, anything like that. It's not that good for swimming because the water is quite shallow, but the dogs absolutely loved it. After my manure I went to a salt lake because I wanted to see what it was like and it's like, it's not attached to the sea, it's inland salt and it's where they make salt for selling in shops. So I've gone to a new camping spot, this is called La Manga, it's like a huge, it's not a lake because it's salt water, it's like a lagoon and you can park anywhere along here and you can swim and the water is meant to be slightly warmer than the sea um, and it's just like a perfect wild camping spot so I don't know where to park, somewhere that's not busy and the dogs can have a run out I'm gonna have a swim in the sea have a look where these vans are. I don't want to park right on top of something else. Maybe I'll go down there and have a look. And I'll be a bit. Oh, there's more vans over there. Let's have a look. the best park up ever. Look, water everywhere, mountains, there's nobody around. Look, perfect. Hey, obviously Lola's chasing birds again. Is this your favourite camping spot? Yeah? Lola gets to chase birds. Mia's got a tennis ball. And they've got all this water to play in. Nobody around us. Look at all that. Right, so I've walked to the Mediterranean. So I walked past some houses, across the road, past some more houses. It's actually a really short distance. It's like half a kilometre and I'm on the Mediterranean side. And it's a bit windy, you can see, look at the waves picking up. And where I'm going to walk to, if you look back there, I'm walking to, no, you can't really see it. I'm walking to the lighthouse. I'll turn this camera around. Beach. Uh -huh. 
Palm Trees Beach Cafe. Shelter's hot for swimming. This man's fishing in a good spot. That shows you where I've come from. Three kilometres back to La Manga. This walk is SLMU14. And the lighthouse is a 300 metres. This is it here. And there's the lighthouse. Huge! This is the southernmost tip of the eastern coast. That's quite a nice spot actually. If you want to go a piece of quiet. Nobody here. So here I am. We're finally at the lighthouse. There it is. It's lovely here. Look at this view behind me. Ooh. I wanted to come here for lunch. And it's closed. Look, it's gone up like a proper ship. So I've just found the most perfect cafe. This the location. Look at that. There's the view, all the way along there, 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 just near the lighthouse. So there's a yacht you can hire, there's also catamarans for trips. So it's the third day at Mar Menor. Uh it's, it's really nice, it's kind of a cloudy today, but it's very, very quiet. It's a lovely spot out of season, must be very busy in the summer though. I'm walking to um, the campsite to meet somebody I met on Facebook in the Women of Campervans group and they're cleaning the beach. Look, they rake all the green stuff out, like this pile here, there, and then get rid of it. The beach is all nice and sandy. It's like a giant rake on the end. So I'm having a walk around this uh, lagoon, as you can hear, tides are coming in. So even though there's a little gap, it's quite a weird place because it looks like a lake, but they haven't built a bridge. You go 19 kilometers along uh, like a peninsula and then there's a gap, so you can't get all the way around. So that's where I've parked. I'm near those boats. The land closest to you, that's a peninsula. So people always ask me um, how cheap it is to travel in Spain. You think, oh, you've got to pay 20 euros a night for some um, campsite um, and you've got to eat out every day. So I've just been to the spa shop and I thought I'd show you what I spent. I paid 5 euros 25p. Um, and I went in to get a loaf of bread. So you can get cheaper bread. I get this like rustic seedy loaf. And this is one euro ten. Yes, that's for my lunch. I'm going to have the cheese and ham. Then I wanted something cold. And so I bought these ice creams. Two euros ten cents for the ice creams. Then obviously I needed a drink. So I'm trying something new. It's red wine with lemon and it's fizzy. So it's sparkling red wine. I don't know what it's about. It's 4% alcohol. Just thought I'd try something new. And that is €1.25. So basically, the wine, that's one and a half litres of wine, is the same price as a baguette. So that's like pricing. And then I bought something else. Oh, I bought a pastry. So this is my breakfast for tomorrow morning. It's a giant pastry. I don't know what it's like. Um, and that pastry is... Actually, I'm not sure if this is... The bread might be 80 cents. Yeah, that's it. Actually, because they've paid different... Um, paid a different amount of sales tax. I've got this the wrong way around because I can't speak Spanish. 
The bread is 80 cents, okay? Because there's only 4% sales tax on bread. This is, this is one euro 10, okay? For this, um, so this is the same price. A pastry or one and a half liters of wine. So, um, and they do have ordinary wine that's cheaper than that actually. So you can get wine for less than a euro. And this this is like a corner shop, so it's not even the cheapest sort of shop. But I just thought you that that's like a daily shop and it's five euros, so it's like four pound fifty. So how did two people and two dogs fit in that car? Look at it. Roof tent, two big dogs and a ladder. find how bad this road is, look, that's a pothole, oh my days, trying to find a good parking location, we're going to the Salt Lake, which is meant to be pink, but apparently it's not pink, I'm not sure why it's not pink, but this is the access road, it looks like a typical yeah, it'll be a good ca uh, parking spot because it must be like a kilometre down this track. Look at that for a pothole over there. Could get stuck in that one. But you don't need four wheel drive, you just need to avoid the big holes really, that's all. In 300 metres, keep right to Avenida Angel Garcia Robo. Oh, that's it. Well, there's actually a house though. that these places get into such a, a state. Oh, look at that steep. Look at that hole down there. Look at the look on the dog's faces. Look, they know they're near water. Look, how excited they look. So where are we going? There's somebody's house. Yeah, keep right. So you could go down on the left. A big parking area there, but we want to be near the sea, so we're going down here. Oh, there's some camper vans over there. So I'm not in the right place. Where are we going to park? We don't want to park right next to people. Right to Avenida Angel Garcia Robo. Right. So tell me to turn around. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's people there with huge trailers. I'm going to turn right. There's people swimming. You've arrived at your destination. Oh, this is it, is it? So there's two camper vans down there, there's Bertie, and the lake's been fenced off but someone's cut a hole in the fence, so I'll park near the hole so we can go for a swim. Let's go have a look. water it's like it inland from the sea and there's walks all the way around so i'm gonna go for a swim apparently it's very very salty and you float in it but it's not very deep as you can see the dogs walking around most people are from Finland they said it's 15 degrees spot it's quiet so I've been shopping today I've been to Mercedona I thought I'll just show you what I bought 
Um, I spent like 25 euros. So let me just show you. So, first of all, loaf of bread. That is 45 cents, right? Spanish baguette. Then, oh, this is gonna get very complicated. Yeah, I bought some lemon tea. This is 169. It's quite like that. Then, oh, the dogs love this dog food. This is a giant tin. It's 1,200 grams of pate dog food. Dogs just love it. This one. And that is 155, but it does last a long time. So I bought a few of those. Then, yeah, I thought I should eat more fish because I've been eating a load of like, I don't know, junk food. So I got, I have no idea how much this This is like crab sticks, something. I thought I could put that on a sand in my baguette. Then I also got some more fish in a tin. It looks a bit like mackerel, but I don't really know what the hell that is actually. And then, yeah, I got some drinking yogurt with pineapple, which looks good. Um, I bought one of these. These are really nice. You get the really cooked uh, tortillas. So they like eggs with potato. Yeah, I got some of these chocolate biscuits. They're really tasty. Cheese. Gouda cheese for my sandwiches and a whole load of tomatoes for my sandwiches and also to put in my omelettes and then got some humus as well. I've um, also got this cake, so I just thought I'd try it. I haven't actually bought the cake yet. So there's my lunch cheese and tomato sandwich. I just want to show you the way I've parked. I have I have been practicing this a bit so there's a slight breeze which comes from that direction there so I use the doors and the van to block any breeze so if I want to sunbathe then it will get up to about 25 degrees in my little corner with no wind at all and I'm facing into the sun so when I sit here in my chair the sun is directly in front of me there if you want to be as warm as possible like me so it's like four in the afternoon and i think you can see a little bit of pink on the lake now i've been in the water it's weird you get like a salt crust all over your skin it's really strange it's just completely dead there's nothing living in it there's some birds living on the edge but nothing in the water people always wonder what i do in the van i always say what do you do all day Right, especially since I tend to stay in my area for about a week. So I'll show you what I'm doing today. This book, colouring book, I've got some colour tips. And I quite enjoyed this actually. It's just colouring things in a circle. So my, my colouring is the one on the right. And it's very relaxing. So I did that when I started. That helped me like relax I think. Then I also do a bit of Sudoku. I'm also learning Spanish. It's been a lot of time reading maps, mostly on my phone actually, trying to figure out where I'm going. I read loads of books. I probably read a book a day on my phone. Also listen to audiobooks. And then today I've got my paints out. So I've got this watercolour set. I've got two of these pads. And I've also got oils in here as well. And these gaw gawach, gawach they're called, yeah. I've got a set of pencils and I've got colouring pencils and I've got loads of brushes and there's more watercolours in there so anyway I'm going to try to watercolour of the scene I mean not with the fence right but the yeah the reflections on the salt lake so it's just blue white and then a bit of brown in front See how I get on with that. I like the way you're driving up this road, look. There's a tree in the middle of the road and they've just left it there. 
No way, I mean it's obviously in the middle of the road. Which way do you go? Left or right? I mean I'm going to the left. And there's tree roots everywhere. Look at all this lovely lake everywhere. And then look, there's one of those bulls. I'm meant to advertise something. They're just like all over the place. And then there's these salt mountains. Hi, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If, um, if possible, please could you subscribe and like the video because it does help me to grow my channel and sort of encourages me that somebody's watching my videos. Thanks. Bye.